Hi, I'm Amber, the Club Development Officer here at Team Surrey. Myself and my colleague Fran, our Sport Development Officer, are going to chat you through different aspects of Team Surrey, the home of student sport at the University of Surrey. We have three key programmes uh, as part of Team Surrey. So we have Club Sport, Play Sport and Surrey Moves. For Surrey Moves, there will be a separate presentation that you'll be able to view on our website at teamsurrey.co.uk. So our kind of key main aspects for club sport are formalised competition, getting to play every single week, once or twice a week with your fellow students, play sport, kind of a more of a social offering and Surrey Moves, our online uh, platform. So we've got 43 sports clubs in total at the University of Surrey, so ranging from archery to karting, uh, ultimate frisbee and golf. So there really is something here for everyone. But don't worry if there's a club or society there that you can't see that you're interested in, you can create your own through the Students' Union. All of our, the majority of our sports clubs train at Surrey Sports Park or SSP, as you'll hear other people call it as. We train our, on the Manor Park campus, which is about a five minute bus ride on the number one bus from Stag Hill campus, the main campus at the University of Surrey. Or if you fancy stretching your legs, it's a 20 minute walk. Unfortunately, at the moment, Surrey Sports Park is closed due to COVID-19, but when we do reopen, please make sure that you do give us a visit. We also have clubs that train off site. So we have our equestrian club that train at Silvermere and our snow sports club that train at a number of different off site venues. We cover transport for all of our sports clubs so we can make, make sure that they get to all of their activities at no additional cost. So you don't need to pay anything additional to your membership fee. To join any of our sports clubs, you need to pay a Team Surrey joining fee, which gives you access to the facility, coaching and covers your insurance as well. Once you've paid that fee, it's just a case of paying for the individual club fee. So if that's netball or football, you just pay the individual club fee for which club you want to join. One of the great things about our sports clubs is that there is something for everyone, whether you're a complete beginner and have never tried the sport before, all the way to playing competitively in local and national leagues in Bucks. All of the information for all of our sports clubs can be found at our website, teamsorry.co.uk, where you can find out about what all of our sports clubs get up to, where and when they train and meet the club committees. And then pass you over to Fran to take us through our play sport offering. Thanks, Amber. So our play sport programme is run by student volunteer activators for students to get involved in. It's our participation programme here at Surrey for less commitment for students who maybe want to try out something new and maybe a different sport or a different session each week. So there are three different opportunities within the programme. On the right of the screen, you can see our sessions. Um, as mentioned, these are the turn up and play opportunities. The courses where you may want to try a new skill um, over a five, six week period, whether that's horse riding, snowboarding, skiing off site or learning to swim at Surrey Sports Park in our Olympic sized swimming pool. Um, and then finally, our uh, IMS leagues or, and tournaments. These are for a more competitive opportunity um, to participate in leagues with your friends, housemates, course mates or maybe society group where you can enter into a team sport whether that may be football, basketball, uh, netball and uh, have weekly fixtures against each other to be crowned the champions at the end of um, the league or tournament. All the pricing for these programmes are detailed on the website and um, you can get in touch via playsport at surrey.ac.uk if you do have any questions around the programme. Um, we will provide updates around national governing body guidelines um, and COVID regulations when we are able to do so and the sports park reopens. But please make sure that you are following us on social media at Team Surrey on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for those updates and information of how to get involved. And we look forward to seeing you at Surrey Sports Park soon.